Dear students, in today's section, we are going to discuss some important parameters of rotational kinematics. In particle kinematics, we can found displacement, velocity, acceleration of a particle if any one of is given. In kinematics of rigid bodies, we will establish the concept of rotation as an angular motion of any point relative to another point on the rigid body. For this, we can learn the concept of angular motion, angular velocity and angular acceleration of rigid body. Let us first discuss what is the meaning of rigid body. Generally, we call object rigid when we cannot deform, squeeze or twist it. This means the shape and size of a rigid body do not change ideally. In consequences, the distance between any two points of the rigid body does not change. However, in practice, any object can be compressed or elongated by a certain extent. In this way, no object can be considered as a perfectly rigid. When the deformation of object is insignificant, in compared to its dimension, practically we call it as a rigid body. Here we use the term deformation to mean compression, elongation, and searing that is a twisting and bending. Now we can define rigid body as a body which undergo no deformation compared to its size under the action of the force or torque. Hence the distance between any two points on the rigid body remain ideally constant or almost constant in practice. Now let us discuss one very important and interesting thing about a rigid body. So let us make this diagram again. These are point A and B separated at a distance small r. And this rigid body is rotating like this. You know this separation small r is constant. That means dr by dt should be equal to 0. dr by dt is the rate of change of separation between A and B. That is the distance between A and B is not changing with respect to time. We can write here dr by dt is vab parallel that is the relative velocity of a with respect to b along the line joining ab. We can make like this that is vab parallel. As we discussed here this distance is not changing that means this quantity that is vab should be equal to 0. If this VAB parallel is 0, it does not mean that is VAB vector is equal to 0 because we know dr by dt is not equal to dr vector by dt. Here dr by dt is nothing but is the rate of change of separation between these two points and dr vector by dt is the velocity vector of that is the relative velocity vector of A and B. That is the relative velocity vector between A and B. That means if this relative velocity has component parallel to AB, it may have component perpendicular to AB also, like this. That means this component may not be equal to 0. It means we can say the relative velocity of point A with respect to B may not be equal to 0. That means, if this velocity is not equal to 0, that means A point is moving perpendicular to AB, that is the motion of A with respect to B is circular. That means, each and every point of the rigid body is rotating with respect to any other point in the circular path. This is true for any type of the rotating rigid body. This is very important property of the rigid body. Now, let us find the angular velocity of a rigid body. Let us place two point A and B and here in this time we are taking this rigid body as a plane plate. So, let us place these two point A and B separated at a distance a small l. Now, let us assume we are observing point A standing at point B. So, what will happen? 
we know there is no relative motion of point A with respect to B along the line AB. And here in this case, A will move in the circular path as seen from B. That is, velocity of A as seen from B should be perpendicular to line AB like this. That means you can observe this point A will rotate in the clockwise sense with respect to observer located at point B. That is the path of A as seen from B is circular of radius is small n. And we know the formula V equal to omega r and omega equal to V divided by r, r is the radius of rotation and in this case you can observe the radius of rotation is L. So, here we can write omega AB, this omega AB and this omega AB is equal to VAB divided by L. This omega AB is the angular velocity of A as seen from B and sense of rotation is clockwise. We know this angular velocity can be expressed in the vector form also. For writing this equation in the vector form, we need to assign the coordinate axis. So, let us assume this plane at the plane of the screen as x y plane. So, z axis will be toward you like this. And we know for finding the sense of rotation that the vector sense of rotation, we need to curve the right hand finger in the sense of rotation that is clockwise. So, in the clockwise sense, if I rotate, we find the sense of rotation vector is into the plane and that is nothing but it is minus k cap direction. So, here we can write this omega in the vector form as omega a b vector equal to v a b divided by L multiplied by minus k cap and minus we can rearrange like this. So, this omega a b equal to minus v a b divided by L a cap. Now, let us assign this equation as equation number 1. Now, let us repeat same sequence and in this sequence what we will do? We will place our observer at point A and observe point B like this. And in this case, the velocity of B should be in this direction and we can express this velocity as V B A and here we can check the sense of rotation is again clockwise. So, let us make this angular velocity like this in the clockwise sense and write this angular velocity as omega B. Now, we can say point B is rotating in the circular path of radius L. So, we can express our omega B A equal to V B A divided by L and we can say this is the angular velocity of B with respect to A in the clockwise sense. Again, we can express this equation in the vector form, you know, this is again in the clockwise sense. So, we can express this equation as omega B A vector equal to minus B A divided by L k cap. And let us write this equation as equation number 2. And here you can observe, the sense of rotation is same, L is same both cases equation number 1 and equation number 2 and here is V B A and in equation number 1 you can observe here is V A B and here you can say the relative velocity of A with respect to B magnitude wise should be same as velocity of that is the relative velocity of B with respect to A that is V B A should be equal to V A B. It means these two equations should be same. Now, let us place these two diagrams in the same place and we observed here. These two equations are equal. That means omega B A vector should be equal to omega A B vector like this. Now, this equation tells us the angular velocity of any point A related to other point B in the plane of rotating body is equal in both magnitude and direction with the angular velocity of B relative to A. That means, we can say the angular velocity of any two point 
situated on the rigid body in the same plane should be equal. This is equal to the angular velocity of the rigid body. Now up to this point, we learn three points about the rigid body. Point number one, that the separation between any two points inside the rigid body remains constant. Point number two, each and every point located inside a rotating rigid body moves in the circular path. And third point, that is a very important point, that the relative angular velocity of any point with respect to any other point located inside the same rotating rigid body is constant. And it is equal to the angular velocity of the rigid body. Now, let us find the angular velocity of the rigid body if we are given the two point velocity. So, let us make one rigid body and two points A and B. Suppose A is moving the velocity Va and B is moving the velocity Vb like this. Now, we can resolve these velocities parallel to the line joining AB and perpendicular to the line joining AB. So, let us make this parallel and perpendicular component of velocity of particle A and similar we can do here at point B. Now, angular velocity of A related to B. Now, we can write omega AB is equal to VAB perpendicular divided by L. Right? We can write like this. VAB perpendicular divided by L and this is equal to omega. As we know, the angular velocity that is the relative angular velocity of any point with respect to other point is constant and it is equal to angular velocity of the rotating rigid body. So, right here omega. Now, we know VA parallel is equal to VB parallel because we know the separation between these two points is not changing. It means this velocity that is VAB perpendicular should be equal to VAB simply we can write, right? Because the relative velocity along AB is equal to 0, that means this vector VAB perpendicular equal to VAB. Now, we can rearrange this equation. Now, we can write omega equal to VAB divided by L instead of writing VAB perpendicular divided by L. Now, we can write VAB as VA minus VB and this equation will become omega equal to VA minus VB divided by L. Using this equation, we can find the angular velocity of a rigid body if we are given the velocity of two points situated on same rotating rigid body. Dear aspirants, Sangez India has launched the new edition of our G Advanced Physics books. Please visit www.sangez.co.in to buy a copy. You can also buy the books from Amazon or Flipkart.